It's harvest time in this little town. It's time to bring it on in and pay the loans down. But I, I already know. I already know. I shouldn't quit my day job. Don't ever try to impersonate the ultimate Luke Bryan ever again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't put you through that again, but I get so excited. It's harvest time here. It's time to bring it on in and hopefully pay the loans down. I'm hoping at least. Uh, so it's early morning. I couldn't hardly sleep last night. Want to get in the field. I got the new axle flow out there running. Just got to fill the tank up, get it out there. I'm waiting for the sun to come out because we got to get them sieves. You know, that corners is still a little uh, wet. Got to make sure them sieves are cleared and everything. Can't run an early, early morning. So it's going to lighten up here real soon, I hope. But we got our wagons loaded up. Got all of them. So we got the 8100 here and we got the 4050 beast so we got we're going with wagons this year so i'm trying to save some money and not have to purchase a semi so i'm going with the wagon it saves a little bit but i guess i don't know about gas definitely might not save as much in gas come on son get on up all right finally the sun came over the mountains we are good we got the birds are chirping. So, I know a lot of you are going to say, Stevio, this he header isn't in the 90s. It is an eight row head, so it would fit nicely with the 2388. The only problem is, is I did find another head. So, which is, uh, where's the model number on this? It's definitely a used head, you can tell by the auger there. Uh, it's old. Oh, there it is. 2208. Pretty sure that's a 90s head. I'm not positive on my numbers. I don't really keep track of that. But it definitely fits our style on this farm. The only problem is, is it doesn't work with the harvester. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you. See? Everything looks great. It's uh, basically about the right height. Uh, the, the PTO shaft hooks up correctly. Everything looks great on this head. Till you put it down, then we get to do a wheelie. Wheelie. So obviously, I, I'm not great at modding. I should be a lot better than what I am. I can't fix this, so. Of course, we could put our John Deere head. We still have that, but you know that just clashes with red. I don't want, you know, I'm sure I'd have some type of breakdown just because of uh, clashing colors. So I don't want to jinx our harvest that much. So I'm gonna use the Capello head. Not for sure when actually Capello started as a company. Only issue with this head, I mean, look at that PTO shaft. It's, it's definitely going to wear out some U joints there. Yep, pretty much. Alright, now we just have to get this harvester over to our field. You might notice we we are still missing one essential item. Well, I think it's, it's a central for a corn harvest. Uh, you almost have to have a grain cart in corn harvest. I I would think it's awful hard to be pretty productive without a grain cart on your farm. Uh, I mean, wagons, yeah, they can go in the field and all that stuff, but, you know, most, I mean, if the field conditions get even a little bit wet, you are gonna have a mess on your hands. So, I think just for 
Pete's sake. So I'm gonna run to town here quick and actually see what I... I think there is a possibility for a grain cart. An ogre grain cart. So due to the tornado, I only have two tractors now. Two tractors that could really... And they're both on wagons. So I got the 4050 and the 8100. They're both pulling our wagons, which we're going to need because corn, that's a lot of volumes. And grain, you got to you gotta need a lot of wagons to keep up with that harvester. Even an older harvester like we have. Shine the old thing up with armor all this morning. All right get into our beast, our OBS beast. Love this truck. Yeah, you don't even want to know what happened there. Yeah, 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 don't even want to know. So you guys might know that I got a major fine for being overloaded and running this thing. That is why I'm not pulling a trailer. I am not allowed to even pull a trailer like that with this, so... Basically, the next time they catch me, the officer gave me a, a warning. Next time, doesn't matter what, I'm losing my license for a year. Uh, you know how embarrassing it is to say, uh, hey, uh, Grant, hey, hey, Buck, can I get a ride? I mean, I'm a grown adult here. That, that's pretty embarrassing. Uh, so... Which is why I'm going to have to drive this beast back to the farm. I don't know if I'm going to like these tires or not, but they're big rice tires, if you can tell. You talk about a little bit of jarring inside the cab. I mean, I want to be sipping coffee while you're driving this down a uh, paved road. I think you'd be like... Duh, 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 duh. Or talking to somebody on the phone, they think you have a... Most likely, at least, because these are huge. The tread on them, gigantic. Look inside this thing. You just... It just feels so big just by the interior. Oh, yeah. Yep. I like this tractor already. Haven't even hardly drove it much. All right, let's get this whole beast home. I feel like I own the road in this thing. I mean, look, get out of my way. I feel like I'm taking the whole entire highway. It feels so big in here. We are just about ready to get up here by the field. Pull over here and get the rest of our uh, wagons over here. I still need to go pick up Timmy. Yeah, his parents only trust if I come and pick him up, so gotta go pick him up so he can help me harvest. Alright. It is time. Harvest time. Alright, let's see. Making the first pass of the year here. Going into corn. Where's the row set? Alright, I think I'm on the row. Yep. Here we go. This thing, it's kind of quiet here in the cab, but it is loud outside this cab. Listen to this thing purr. I don't know if you can actually hear that or not. Might not be able to hear that, but it is screaming. These case harvesters scream. Alright, we're at our waterway. It's the only thing I don't like about this field is it's kind of weird shape. I think I'm going to have to do the outside uh, headlands here first. Just wanted to get a nice pass through this field. So I kind of know what to expect for moisture throughout the whole field. So I'm going to unload this being this. We're not even close to being full. I want to unload this in the grain cart here just to kind of be able to tell what, 
this to be kind of able to tell what we're you what the moisture is running. I have to run over here quickly. There we go. All right, I'm gonna sh shut this down. Run out here. See what we got here in this tank. It's giving it the mouth to uh, corn test. Definitely crunchy, not too soft. Let's see, we'll get our, where's our moisture tester at? There we go, we are running about 15%. It's go time, boys and girls. It's time for us to get these headlands down here. It takes a while running around these headlands on this field because it's, uh, it's a little, uh, let's just say you get a lot of the field done. I don't know why this corn here is wilted. You get a lot of the field done just doing the headland. I always enjoy going around the headlands of a field, especially when you are first started opening up a field, because that's when you see all the wildlife. You see them big deer, you know, you get to see them big deer bucks or does usually on your first pass or especially standing right there with a shotgun I've killed many oh wow almost put a tire through the harvester right there gotta watch what I'm doing watch what you're doing Stevio just about put a tire through the harvester pretty sure this axle flow would suck up the tire pretty easily but I definitely don't want to do it all intentional but standing right over there right underneath that mirror and everything just sitting there with a the shotgun kill a lot of pheasants doing that just wait for the pheasants to start flying up you can always tell usually the the driver of the harvester can uh, knock on the window or something you could see them running down the rows get ready and pretty soon they start flying. Another good reason why I'm so glad it's harvest time because it's almost deer hunt time. We've got standing corn. As soon as them deer start hearing the first gunshots or especially if they get shot at and missed, they run for the cornfield. Ooh, just filled up. So them deer, they run for the cornfields and they run inside all them little uh, cornfields and you'll never see them for the whole entire deer season. Alright, I need to get Timmy on the CB here. Timmy! Come on, Rick. Where are you? Need unloaded. Uh, I'm on the... going around the field... what is this? East side? Hurry up, Timmy. All right, Timmy just showed up here. So everything's running great. Corns get running through. Uh oh. Got another dead spot. Man, them spots are just popping up. With that deer damage and everything. Man, that's like our whole entire. That's all the profits right there. trade off here run over here switch out fire this thing back up again here comes little Timmy doing the back and forth oh looking good Timmy looking good I think Timmy likes that uh, that old harvester Oh, Timmy, don't fall in love with it too much. All right, try to pull over here. Wow, that auger is huge. Are we gonna go under it? Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. This should fill me up, I believe. I can barely even feel this uh, 
peeny uh, grain cart, peeny to this big tiger at least. Back this thing. Oh yeah, filling her on up. Time to pull the next switch, good buddy. I know. I'm doing a lot of that's what she said. All right, Timmy's taking off again. All right. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at that thing unload. S screaming out out of this grain cart here. This is where you have to be on your toes. Don't want this to overload. Yep, so you got this cart full. Got that cart full. We got Timmy running over here. Looking up Timmy go. Back and forth he goes. And I just love that smell in the air. So 4050 is gonna have good old tug on these wagons. Right, come on, baby. Oh him. It's a lot of weight for this little tractor. Not really little, but it's a little for these two wagons, though. Definitely don't want to be going downhill. You don't have enough uh, junk in the trunk to stop you, I don't think. Being this auger isn't running, I can step over it. It's time to start up an old international. You guys didn't think I had an international on the farm, did you? Let's see if we can start this old girl up. <laughs> Okay, this thing doesn't want to start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now what we gotta do? I don't have another tractor to put on this PTO shaft. Thank y'all for watching. I will see you next time. Over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Start it up. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Roto. Don't forget. Like the video. Thank y'all.